Welcome investors! Today we'll be talking about the stock which I consider stress-free right now. But at the time when I was buying it in March, April, May 2020, this company was at the high chances of going bankrupt. Some of you still may consider this stock very risky investment. But in my opinion, it is very safe investment as of right now. So during this video, I'll tell you why I'm so convinced that this company is a safe and good long-term investment. We will be talking about Carnival, the biggest cruise line company in the world. Carnival visits approximately 700 ports around the world. So this video will have four parts. In ports number one, we'll take a look at the cruising industry and environment surrounding Carnival right now. In port number two, we'll take a look at the revenue and income for Carnival for past five years. Port number three, I'll show you my 685 shares of Carnival and we'll see how they are doing after the year. And point number four, I'll give you my conclusions about the future of Carnival and cruising industry. So if you're interested, keep watching. Don't go anywhere. So let's start from this. The cruising industry was shut down from March 2020. And it's been a year and a month by right now when different industries reopened with some safety and health modifications cruising industry is far behind because as you remember in february and march 2020 carnival cruise ships were at the epicenter of the pandemic crisis that's why cdc is very reluctant with giving permission to the cruise industry to start operating again in united states as of right now carnival announced that there will be no cruising until june 20 2021 and losses are mounting debt of the company for 2019 was 11 billion dollars but as of right now 2021 april debt of the company is 32 billion dollars debt tripled when you stop operating suddenly that is the result no income and debt growing exponentially but there is a really strong light in the tunnel for carnival bookings are rising at the record high as of right now bookings for 2022 are much higher than those in 2019 before the pandemic time a lot of people are tired of lockdowns and they want to go for vacation people need and miss personal interaction with other people Carnival is planning also to add six new ships to its fleet by 2021. And Carnival is expecting to be selling in around 30-40% of capacity by 2021 end. And by 2022, they are expecting to sell in 100 capacity. Another important news is that Carnival is considering to shift to outside ports if they don't get permission from CDC to operate within United States. This is understandable because this is for-profit company with huge obligation, huge debt, and they want to get back to business as soon as possible. So let's take a look at the revenue and net income for Carnival for past five years. Shares of Carnival as of uh, today, which is April 23rd, uh, are $27.27. Uh, let's take a look at the revenue for 2016 was 16.4 billion, 
2017 was 17.5 billion, 2018 was 18.9 billion, 2019 was 20.8 billion, and then boom, 2020, 5.6 billion, the pandemic time. Uh, let's take a look at the net income. Net income is going to look like 2016 was 2.8 billion, 2017 was 2.6 billion, 2018 is 3.2 billion, 2019 3 billion, and then 2020 minus 10.2 billion dollars. Uh, that is the biggest hit which Carnival experience so far in its entire history of uh, operating. Mm, let's take a look quickly on uh, the interest on the long-term debt and in 2020 alone interest on long-term debt is 175 uh, 175 million dollars. Now let's take a look at my 685 shares of Carnival which I bought a year ago. Carnival shares I started buying in uh, March 17, 2020. I bought 10 shares for $12.54. At the same day I bought also 50 shares for $12.60. Then March 18, I bought 50 shares for $9.12. This was actually the lowest price which I got for Carnival shares. Then April 16, I bought 100 shares for $11.78. Then May 5th, I bought 221 shares for $13.83 each one. Then May 7th, 113 shares for $13.40. Then May 19, I bought 35 shares for $14.31. And the last date when I was buying the Carnival shares was May 20th, 2020. I bought 106 shares for $14.03. The reason why I stopped buying the shares because they started going up. Uh, $14, uh, I started feeling that this is getting too expensive. So I just stopped buying. I had money to buy more, but I decided that's it, no more. So overall, I have right now 685 shares of Carnival. Uh, which I paid for them $8,946.44. And uh, as of right now, which is April 23rd, those shares uh, are worth $18,679.95, which is 108% increase in value over one year and a month so those shares are gonna stay here for long term uh, they uh, carnival is not paying dividends but eventually they will start paying dividends uh, this what you see here uh, it indicates uh, when i bought the shares less than a year ago and uh, th those, are, those were actually more than a year ago, which are short-term gains, and these are considered long-term gains. So why did I buy the shares of Carnival at the first place? In the middle of pandemic, when everybody stay away from the cruising industry, I jump into it. The main reason is maybe I would say was and still is that Carnival is operating in entertainment industry and people always wanted and they always will be 
and would like to be entertained. That was my major thought about Carnival. People want to go to beautiful places, to beautiful islands, to see, to explore. Most of the people are stuck in one place. They work hard. Carnival gives them a window to see the new world. That was my main motivation why I decided to buy Carnival. Because I knew that as far as they were down, eventually there will be times when they will be up. They'll be back on their feet. They'll be taking people for cruises again to beautiful places, to beautiful islands. That was my main motivation when I was buying Carnival for nine, 10, 12 dollars per share. Now, 27 dollars per share. I'm not complaining at all. And this will be a stock which I will hold for a very long time because it is entertainment. And entertainment will never, never disappear. As long as we have to work, we will have vacations. And Carnival is within this group which is serving us vacation, serving us our dream time, serving us something where we can escape from reality. That was my main motivation and this is my assurance why Carnival will survive, will survive for many years to come. I'm so convinced because it is taking people to dreamlands. So this is my take on Carnival. What do you think about Carnival? A year ago, there was many articles which I read and people were saying that Carnival is between 40 and 50% going bankrupt. I don't see these articles now. Now I see articles saying that Carnival is a value stock. <laughs> That's why the most important thing when you are investing is to go in the stock market when everybody runs away. <laughs> so later on you can enjoy the fruits of your brave contrarian decision. So please let me know what do you think about Carnival? Do you think, do you agree with my approach towards Carnival or you disagree? If you disagree, write this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And like always, if you like this video, please hit the thumb up. Share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and all social media. I greatly appreciate all your help with building very simple investing channel. Thank you very much for spending your valuable time with me right here today and have a great time!